Hello guys and welcome back to another tutorial. Just a quick message before we start. Uh, I want to let you know that if you want a little more content about how to use Blender on or IMBU, uh, I opened a Patreon page for those who were interested in Patreon only video tips and early access to the content of, uh, that is going to be posted on YouTube. Uh, there's a couple of tires that allows you to have a, a lot of perks and personal, uh, you know, uh, personal attention, question, question and answers, and uh, even uh, uh, lessons, private lessons uh, from me, so you can get to know a lot of things uh, about Blender for IMBU. So well, uh, with that being said, let's get to work. And just before we start, I'm going to leave on, on the video description the timeline and the actual steps that we are following on this video since it's going to be pretty extend. Uh, we have we are going to have a little bit of the overlapping issue, uh, the UV uh, mapping and materials and baking the materials to this mesh. So, uh, if you're curious about the steps that we're going to do, uh, remember to check out the description. Okay, guys, if, uh, if you remember the last time we already made our wrinkles, uh, folds on, on the clothes and everything. Uh, so, what's, uh, what we need to do next uh, should be, for example, a... Uh, well, get rid of this uh, overlapping here and create the seams, parent the armature, and I think there, then we are good to go. So, what we are going to do? Uh, okay, we are we are on edit mode. Remember, if you don't have uh, the vertices showing, you have to go to the overlays to show the. Uh, the vertices that we have and okay we have our overlapping here and here and some on the back so what we should do now um, would be for example let's see um, we are going to go back to object mode pressing tab uh, let me just move the screencast a little bit I think there's okay okay um, so yeah we are going to go back to object mode as you can see uh, and we as we can see here the neck of the upper body the torso um, well we are going to get rid of most part of this torso because we don't actually need it um, why? Because it's actually hidden by, by the, the actual sweater, so uh, it doesn't make much sense to have it since it's going to, um, you know, since uh, all the bird disease uh, and uh, faces that it has, it will only um, it will only make the file weight more. So, uh, yeah, pretty, pretty much that. Uh, so what we are going to do, okay, we see the, um, uh, the sweater here. We can hide the sweater, but I prefer going on X-ray so we can see here. And if we toggle off and on, we can see where it's going to be overlaid. Uh, where is going to be the, the, the overlapping? So, okay, pretty much we have the arms, right? So we are going to select the arms, shift, hold shift, and maybe using the frontal view, we can select this, select this here, and select part of the chest. All right. So yeah, pretty much 
we are going to get rid of this vertices here. Uh, also, these two here and here, and this one here. Maybe, maybe these three also. Because well, there's four. Yeah. So only so we are only going to left this uh, this vertices here. You can see this, 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 and then it goes all over here and here. Basically, basically what we are going to leave is this area and nothing and nothing else on the bottom. Um, why? Because we don't need it. Uh, simple as that. Uh, so. Yeah, what's what it's going to do? It's uh, it doesn't affect the 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 actual mesh. Um, it's only it's only for us to make the file weight a little bit less, right? We're going to hit delete uh, vertices, and yeah, we only have our uh, neck here. Uh, as you can see, if the if the avatar uh, sits or you know um, uh, raises your hands and everything, you can see the wrist here because it's part of the hand. So there is nothing that actually and it and and as you see the pelvis, it's pretty much high. So whenever it sits or something it's not going to show so yeah uh, that's pretty much what we are doing now um, and uh, yeah we are going to leave this like this uh, toggle off the x-ray and now we are going back to object mode as you can see there is no overlapping just a little bit here on the neck so we are going to fix that by going back to edit mode uh, and rise this a little bit with G, Z here and this one too. G, Z. All right, looks better. Right now we have a really good sweater here. Um, okay, what else? Now we need to create the UV maps. As you remember, uh, the last time that we uh, did it, we created the seams. So this is basically what we are going to do. Uh, first of all, you have to uh, open a parallel window here. Um, go here. UV editor and now edit mode. Okay, so what we are going to do is make the sew, you know, you know the sewing of the uh, actual uh, sweater. If you if you have trouble with seeing the the, the, the actual the actual thing, uh, you can press N to hide the tools. Well, the 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 <laughs> one of the tools and, and the other tools by pressing T. So T is for hiding and show the, the tools that we are using. And this one, these tabs are the item tools. So yeah, pressing N, you can hide it and show it. Uh, same with this, uh, it, it, it works the same way. Okay. Um, anyways. Let's see if we can um, go to uh, here and here. We are going to toggle off this for a second. So we can um, uh, hold Alt, click on this vertical uh, line, and it's going to create a path of selection of our uh, vertices. But now we are going to move to uh, edge mode. Right there in edge mode, 
uh, as you can see, we want to have the whole mesh um, divided in the front, uh, the back, and the sleeves. So we are going to subdivide. No, well, sorry. <laughs> we are going to uh, right click, go to Mark Sim. Okay. If you press sub subdivide, I don't think it's going to make any sense. Uh, or, or, or do nothing, actually. Okay, so we have here, because of our subdivision modifier, it doesn't create the whole path, but we can do it manually. So, yeah, click, hold alt, click, and we are going to create another path from the other side. Mark scene. And now we have to create the path uh, for the sleeves. Shift Alt, and we create the path around it. Same with this side. Shift Path, Shift, Shift Alt, and we do our selection. Um, right click, Mark Scene. And we are not going to create a path all over from the top uh, part of, of the sleeve. So that's why we don't click and out here. You're going to just click here, shift click here and here. Uh, so we have only, so, we, so our uh, sleeve uh, only gets divided um, on one side. Yeah, so it's a full, um, a full, completely full. So, um, more same. Okay, now we have our front, our back, our sleeves. Uh, what else? And that's pretty much it. Okay, uh, oh, no, no, wait, 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 wait. You see, um, I think that we could also make this part of the sleeves separate. So here, here we are going to create another seam. Why? Because obviously the the lower the lowest part here too. Alt click. We select uh, Alt Shift click in here, uh, and we create another path. So we can make this kind of, um, you know, a stretch uh, elastic part of our sweater. So we can work with that. Uh, we are going to create another seam. And okay, this may this means that we, if we go here and select everything with pressing the letter A, um, and uh, if we press A, right, and then you grab, we are going to have all the uh, actually the the whole thing on one UB. But I think it's unnecessary. We need a lot of materials, a lot of uh, uh, UVs, I mean, separately, so we can work with this uh, in a better way on Photoshop if we want to create the textures from zero. Um, so, yeah, what we're going to do uh, is actually go to the Materials tab, Properties here, uh, create one slot, so this slot, what we can do is actually create a new material by pressing new, and this first material, it's going to be for our whole um, sweater, so this one, we are not going to use it, so we are going to name it just uh, material. Um, so that's it. We're going to press a next uh, uh, a plus here, create another material, and here we're going to use new. All right. 
Um, this material, we are going to use it for the front part. So we are going to name it um, front. Uh, actually, it also needs a number ID for the material. So we are going to hit the bracket, O, 1, close the bracket. We are going to select everything, everything from the part, from the front and frontal part. So what we are going to do is go here to the face selection mode, right? And this is going to create um, a selection, right? We are going to select everything from here, from here. Don't worry if we select more than the frontal part. What, what, what we are going to do is, as I'm showing you right now, we are going to um, select every part of the frontal for us to, you know, work with different uh, different work with different UVs later on on IBU. So yeah, we know that we have all our selection from the frontal part, right? Make sure you don't select anything else that it doesn't belong to this part where the seams are the division for our parts, right? It's, it's for our UVs. So right now we have our selection. We can assign it. This is going to tell to this uh, to Blender and actually to IMU later on that this material uh, has only this vertices here, this uh, faces. Um, these are the only ones that wants to be modified for our um, for our material. So as you can see, we have our selection here on the UV properties. Um, and what we are going to do now, we are going to press U and unwrap. So this will create just one UV for our frontal for, for our frontal part. Um, what we can do is select with pressing A. Uh, here on the U, on the UV editor, um, press R, 90 degrees. No, wait. It has to be minus 90 degrees. You can you can use the the numpad on your um, on your keyboard so you can uh, rotate in the selection you want and actually and actually what we are going to do now is scale it a little bit by pressing s then well as as you can see uh our square here for our uv is a little bit more uh wider and i mean higher so we can actually scale it s and y and the letter y so we can scale it a little more here. Okay, now it seems it's it looks good. We're going to do the same thing with the back part. We're going to select everything. As you can see, I made a little bit of the selection of the frontal part, but don't worry about it. Also, uh, remember that you could actually make some wrinkles on the back or uh, mostly mostly on the lower part of our back. Uh, you have some wrinkles sometimes on on the um, yeah on, the, on 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 real life. Like you had to be at least at least as, as much as you want uh, to be realistic with this mesh. Uh, do as much as wrinkles as you want. You don't have to keep uh, to you know repeating the same thing that I'm doing. But 
this is for you to know that you can also do it. Okay, so we selected our back part. Also, same thing. We're going to create another material. New. Name it. Back. Bracket O2. Close the bracket. And assign. This is going to assign the whole vertices that we have a selection here. And now you grab. Okay, now we can select everything with letter A, R, uh, 90. Okay, we're going to uh, R minus nine, 90 degrees. And scale it a little bit. Move it with G to the side. Okay, great. Now we have our uh, back part. Uh, you can check the selection with uh, this button here. So what we're going to do is, well, you can check with this select and select and it's going to automatically um, make a selection if you want. That's really helpful for, you know, selections, quick selections on over the, 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 um, the whole thing um for creating okay and, and and here i noticed something we can actually as we don't want to have a back part and a frontal part from the elastic um, texture here uh, fabric so we are going to go to the side uh, select these two seams right and here on edge selection mode and right click and clear scene this is going to erase the scene that we that we made so when we have our our uh uv created it's going to be a whole uh long uh uv for the the whole thing i mean it's going to start right here and it's going to finish right here uh, if you are fine with this uh, frontal and back part uh, for you know your UVs on the elastic part, it's up to you. You don't have to you do it, but this is a way for me for to work. So um, okay, so we are going to select here on the front and the back. This is going to select the frontal part. We are going to select also the back part. Right, so we have our frontal, our back. You can see the selection here, but this is not this is not important right now. What we are going to do is go here to the selection tab, invert. So we have our sleeves uh, and our elastic parts right here selected. As you can see, there's uh, the the actual selection. It's okay, but we can uh, stretch it out a little bit, like scale it a little bit more for for it to be a little bit more, um, you know, bigger on the UV. So press U, and grab. And you can see we modified the frontal, right? This this part I modified it. So I will leave this um, like that. Uh, I'm going to select the vertices here. And as you can see, I can actually move it to a part where it's, uh, yeah, for, for a part that I will use it later. So I can scale it a little bit more and our sleeves and the wrist part also I can uh, make it bigger okay I scaled it I have everything set up uh, I what I only have to do is create another material new uh, we're going to name this sleeves 03 Okay, enter, assign. You can deselect and select so you can make sure that the selection is okay. 
And yeah, but we are pretty much almost done, right? This is the, as you can see, I, I um, make it a little bit bigger here. Uh, this is the editor, the timeline, right? So we are going to do to shader. Oh, wait, remember, I almost forgot one step. <laughs> yeah, so we have our three materials here. So what we didn't do is save the uh, UV layout. Uh, okay. Um, we are going to save the UVs. As you can see, the UVs are here. We are going to fill the opacity to, uh, I'll say, 0 0.7. 7 here. Okay. Uh, we are going to name this sleeves. UV. Okay. We are going to leave it with 512 and 512. Okay. Yeah, now it's better. Um, here on the back too. So we are going to deselect these leaves, select the back, do the same thing. Go to the UV, um, go to Sport UV layout. And here the same. We are going to change this to back UV export the layout deselect select the frontal part UV export and here okay come on mouse front UV export. Okay, now our UVs are exported, our um, materials are okay, and what we can do now is um, actually create our textures. Uh, this is very simple and straightforward, but we are going to do a couple of things. Uh, I know this is really, um, it's really taking a long time, but I assure you it's going to look great later on. Um, okay, we are in the shader editor. We clicked on this frontal right, material. As you can see, it's going to change the material here. Uh, if we go to back and back, it's going to change to back two and the sleeves too, right? So this is what we are going to do here. It's render the uh, actual lighting and the color of our um, of our frontal uh, the, the sleeves and the back so we are going to go to frontal click here here we are going to press shift a go to search image editor if we press e match you're going to see an image image texture Press OK, enter. And here, what we are going to do is create a new image. We are going to name it front. And here, 512, 512, because we are going to use the regular client on IMU. Oh no, but it doesn't matter. Yeah, it doesn't matter. We are going to leave it on fully black. Uh, OK, <laughs> again. Uh, front uh, 512 512 we're going to uncheck the alpha and OK OK this is going to uh, create this black uh, material over the frontal part if we go to this tab here we can see the materials tab and it's still white because this image is not the actual material, we are going to have to change the color here, the BBS uh, principle. Uh, okay, to base color, and we are going to go to here, and we are going to select this um, this color here from our um, uh, actual sweater. So you can see the color now changed, right? It's a little bit darker than we thought, but 
it's okay. Uh, and remember, we have to click over the actual image that we created here. Okay, remember that you have to hit here. Same with this black, the, the back. We're going to we're going to go to the back, right? Shift A image new. Uh, you can see the the it's the same same size. Uh, we're going to name it back. Okay. All right. Um, we're going to go to the base color. Yeah, what we can do is check the frontal here and here. And what we can see here for us to create the same material, um, we're going to choose the same um, the same values here. So it's 93, 221, and 704. So we're going to back to the uh, 93. It's 93, 221. Okay. So this is 0 0.093, 221. And here it's 0. Point here. Okay, so we now have the same color on each of, of these uh, parts, the frontal and the back. Same here. Um, go to sleeves, create a new image, new, uh, what else? Um, sleeves, okay. All right, base color, if you remember, 0 0.093, uh, 0 0.221, and 0 0.704. All right. Uh, okay, now we are going to select this one. Make sure you're, select, you're selecting the sleeves, you're selecting the back, and you're selecting the front. This is really important. Okay, going back to this tab, we're going to add a light because we have to uh, create a light for us to um, create the, U, the, the textures. This is going to save us a lot of time for us to uh, work on um, to work on uh, Photoshop. So uh, what we are going to do is, okay, back to an object mode, shift A, create a light. We're going to create an area. As you can see, the area is really big. So we are going to scale it down a little bit. Yeah. Okay. It's really on the floor. So we are going to press G, rise it up. Uh, move it to the front, G and Y, and now we are going to rotate on the X axis a little bit. As you can see, there is a little bit of an arrow here. This is this is showing the the actual um, the actual precision of the light, right? And here, if we go to this, um, let's see, no, here, to the, this spot right here, the object data properties, you can see that we can uh, lower the actual color or the uh, intensity of the light. So what we can do is create this to watts. Uh, this is a, this was on milliwatts, so we can put, for example, um, 80 watts. And if we go here on the viewport shading, you can see the light is not so intense. So we can change that value to I don't know 150. 
uh, it's a little bit better but still really what about 300 300 still not that good I don't know if we scale it down a little bit more okay now it's looking better okay yeah so we scaled the area we can uh, press uh, shift D to duplicate and move it on the y-axis and also G uh, no R we press the letter R R <laughs> Uh, so we can rotate on the x-axis again so this is going to do this we are we are actually um, as you can see you're actually putting some lighting on the back uh, it's going to create the shadows here on the sides this is going to give it a really realistic uh, realistic kind of look to our um, Sweater. Okay, so now we are good to render this and bake these textures. What we can do is go to here on the, well, we selected the uh, sweater, go to render properties. Here on EV, we're going to change to cycles. This is going to create a tracing path here. It's going to increase the, the, the amount of uh, uh, textures. This is what, what you can see. It's, it's rendering the actual image. So, and you will see, we'll notice that your CPU, it start to uh, work a little more. So, if better that you don't uh, actually um, you don't actually move this around so you don't want your CPU to work a lot um, and what you can do here is well uh, I actually use the GPU uh, but uh, we are going to leave it like this um, as this is not a really um, complete rendering uh, the rendering you can I guess I'm, I'm going to rise it a little bit more to 150 um, and that's pretty much that uh, about the properties that we are using we're going to go here to bake right and we are not going to combine everything we are just going to go to this bake type and press diffuse what this is going to do is bake only the color of our of our mesh here. So we press bake, and as you can see here, it will start baking the texture. You can see the percentage. It's going to take a little while, so try not to do anything while you do this, like go into another um, another window or yeah pretty much uh, what we're uh, trying just to focus this work on on the GPU so the GPU it works properly as you can see it takes a little bit of a bit of seconds or minutes uh, just let it work and this is going to work really uh, fine for you as you can see here our textures are perfectly um, baked so yeah this is pretty much what you are going to use later on on IMU uh, as you can see there's some uh, black spots here on the back I guess it's, it's I guess it's here because of this part here I don't know but anyways you can work it on on Photoshop here the back the front you can see the wrinkles and every trace of the shadow is showing and all right we are okay we are going to leave this rendering tab we're going to go back to the 
um, normal shading. Oh, and before we we go, we're going to save this as save as. As you can see, we're going to not use the PNG. I'm going to use the GP uh, GPAG. Um, uh, okay, front GPAG. Okay, front back image save as back png no we're going to name it gpag and sleeves image uh, save as sleeves whoops rgb okay all right now Okay, so right before we go to export this mesh to IMBU, we are going to go here to the uh, modifiers. We created the subdivision modifier, so we are going to apply this. So it's still like this, smooth. Um, now we are going to join this uh, mesh with our neck that will be the upper body, as you can see here right and um control j remember we are still on object mode and now we are good to export it we're going to unhide the skeleton select the mesh select the skeleton with shift click as you can see they're both light uh go to files export FBX and we can do here is um, uh, just name it shredder uh, selected objects apply unit transform apply modifiers no because we did okay lick bones no and bake animations no um so yeah that's that's pretty much what we need uh remember the file and export okay now that we are on imbu we are going to go to the creator uh program derive new product empty derivables and no we are using a mail floating go Go to FBX Sport. We uh, select the sweater. Okay. As you can see, the upper body is okay because we merge the um, the actual sweater with neck, and you have our materials here. The skin is part of the skin of the avatar. Uh, we have the sleeves, the back, the front, and the material that we are not going to use. So this is, we are going to uncheck this, import, the conversion is successfully, apply the changes, and we can see our, well, it doesn't show as good as we want, but actually we have to change the, the sleeves, the back and the front. So we are going to go to edit, front wait this is the front yeah this is the the 01 02 03 so this is the back and this is the sleeves and as you can see it looks exactly as we left in the um actual oh so this is what what it was it was the overlapping of the pelvis that was uh doing the the, the actual thing here okay anyways um okay so anyways we have a really good thing here that our uh you know the skin you have to go here and override so it's going to look now that we did this, we can, yeah, 
So we have a perfect um, sweater there. But as you can see, the sweater looks pretty nice. Um, we can we can actually get rid of those overlappings by going to edit mode and do the same thing. But uh, actually, it looks pretty nice. It looks pretty smooth. We only need to get a texture over over this uh, this actual texture that we have and we can make it look very good so i hope you like the video um if you have any doubts remember leave it on the comments uh, make sure you hit the like button um, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't if you haven't done it yet and yeah let me know what you think and i'll see you next time thank you very much for watching